Welcome back. We're very lucky in Central Texas. When you talk about best steakhouses in Central Texas, Fleming's is on the list, best in the state on the list. Then you get best in the nation. You make those lists, too. So Fleming's is here, and we are glad they are. Um, Eric Nixon, the chef over there, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Hey, uh, before we get going, big celebration in June, right? Celebration in June, our 10-year anniversary this is this year, and yeah. uh, we're very proud to be downtown. I just wanted to come on and kind of remind everybody that we're still here. Yeah, and you guys are going to do a big celebration in June, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. going to be great. Okay, and you brought for us a little ahi tuna. And, I mean, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong. Tell us what you brought. No, well, it's, it's you know, it's a new time of year. It's right. springtime. It's kind of, you know, it stimulates the appetite, yeah. you know, stimulates the taste buds. People kind of change the way they think about sure. what they're going to have, right. you know, for dinner and for, for parties and appetizers. Yeah. And uh, so I decided to do the ahi tuna that we have on the menu. Lighter it's, fare, right? It's a lighter fare. Yeah. You know, it has a little bit of spice to it. It's, yeah. you know, it's an exciting dish and, and uh, it's probably one of our more popular dishes. Well, I'll let you get going here and, and mm -hmm. you, can, you can just kind of go through it and we'll talk while you do it. First yeah. question I have for you, though, is how do you not wreck the seared ahi tuna? Well, you, know, you don't want to go too much. You no, don't want to go no. not enough. No, I mean, it's just a, it's just a quick sear. You right. know, we use a really hot cast iron skillet. Right. You know, you can do it at home real easily. It'll kind of smoke up your kitchen if you uh -huh. don't have a sure. uh, good ventilation right. system but uh you know just a quick roll on, on a cast iron skillet really hot right you'll smoke up the kitchen real nice but just take it right off the skillet and slice it and spread it on a plate you know when it's done yeah yeah, yeah you know you can't you can't hardly undercook it sure right you know and this is the bed we're gonna put it on right yeah so i made a, a little vegetable salad okay it's a it's a real simple salad of raw vegetables right. of jicama and carrot and celery okay. tossed with a rice wine vinaigrette right and then i top that with some uh, pickled ginger and a, a little, little bit ginger, of cilantro sure. and some wasabi. Okay. And then I'll dress the plate with some spicy mustard sauce. Perfect. Now, all these complement the tuna, but, but don't take away from it, right? That's, that's the goal. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the tuna is, you know, it's, it's a mild flavor, uh, but the spice on it is really abundant, you know, yeah. and I make, a, I make a Cajun spice in the restaurant, and sure. it's got, you know, it has about 14 ingredients right. in it, you know, and you can choose to create your own Cajun spice, or you could buy a Cajun yeah. spice, you know, they have them in the grocery sure. stores that okay. you can use, but uh, the way that we serve in the restaurant is I'll toss, I'll toss the salad with, with a vinaigrette and place that on the, on the plate, and then I'll top that with some cilantro. There we go. Some nice leaves of cilantro. A little more ginger, Some right? ginger, pickled ginger. There we go. I'll put a little piece of wasabi paste. Uh-huh. And then now spicy this, mustard sauce. Okay, that's what that is, the spicy mustard. Mm -hmm. All righty, and then you just lay it out. And, and I'll just spread it out. Kind of fan it a little bit. Just fan right? it, kind of show the color of the tuna. Oh, look at you that. You know, you can, you can make it as... Beautiful as you like, yeah. I think. It as long as you have the red. <laughs> oh well, you know it's it's not as pleasant or sure. as, as appealing as I would do it in the restaurant. But I just want to kind of give everybody sure, a good right. idea. This recipe is on our website at kxan.com as well as as the Fleming's information. And now um, this is on the appetizer list, but also you can get this as an entree, right? You can get this as an entree. Uh, we have a, a different style of ahi tuna that yeah. we do as an entree, but a lot of times people recommend this one as an entree portion. Right, okay. You know, so it would be double, a double size, basically. Right. And brought a little of the beef. Tell us I about some, that. I brought some beef. I brought some New York strip. Right. Uh, we're a steakhouse. Yeah. And, uh, you we guys spend... don't mess around. I mean, this is aged, what, what it's four aged, weeks? It's or? aged for 30, 30 days. It's perfect in texture and perfect in taste, right? And, uh, and, and it's prime beef. Yeah. You know, it's the best beef you can buy, right. raised in the, north, in the, in the Northwest. Right. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's the best there is. Right. So I wanted to showcase it a little bit. Yeah, show and us. we got about a minute left. So yeah, show well, us how well, we're going to do this. I thought, you know, you don't have to use ahi tuna right. for this dish. You could also use beef if okay. you like. And uh, you can do it the same way. You right. could dress it with mustard or you could do something else. I, I brought a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar there we go. and a little bit of olive oil. You can use the same salad if you like. And this is the New York here? This is a New York strip. Okay. And uh, I just seared it in the same spices. Sure. And... So it has that Cajun flavor. Just a little heartier uh, meal than the, than the tuna, right? Just a different taste. Yeah. Well, you could serve this as, just as an appetizer. Yeah. You could, you could uh, put toothpicks in it and just kind of let just people go, yeah, one just, by one, just sure. raise on, on the beef. Or you can just make a, uh, an entree out yeah. of it. Like, okay, like so. down on 2nd Street, also at the Domain, and 10 years in June. I want to mention, too, as we were talking about before uh, during the commercial, you can get the absolute best burger on the planet down at Fleming's. I mean, known for steak and, and fantastic meals and entrees and everything else. And, but you can get it. The burger's the best in town. It really is, I, mean, isn't I think it? we're probably the only 
the only restaurant that yeah. serves a prime beef burger. Yeah, it really so is. it has that distinct prime flavor. Right. And uh, and it's on our happy hour menu, and we have we have great selections on our happy hour yeah. menu. It's it's the tell us about the happy five, hour quickly. It's the five, five items for four, six for six dollars until seven o'clock. Till seven o'clock, and and that's the best deal in town. With it, it's really a good it's yeah. a really a good bargain, a good value. Right. And uh, so. You know, I can't say enough about everything that we're doing right yep. now. There's a lot of exciting things coming up. We have a new menu. We have a lot of promotions, and we could probably fill up the rest yeah, of the segment with, right? with that. <laughs> but uh, I just kind of wanted to come and remind everyone that we're still here. We're yep. downtown. We also have uh, a Fleming's in the Domain. Right, sure. And everybody that's gone there raves about that, too. All right. Again, this information is on our website. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Good to see you again. If you get a chance to get to Fleming's, you won't regret it. And we'll be back. That's our Tasty Thursday.